Tudors is based around the young Henry VIII when he was the charismatic alpha male of Europe. It's focusing on the younger version of him, his friends, his court. It's not quite a king that we're aware of. He was described as the handsomest prince in Christendom. He would be like a heavy metal kind of rock god. Showtime presents an extraordinary look at King Henry VIII in the all-new original series, The Tudors. I have a son gone! Can you hear me? Golden Globe winner Jonathan Rhys Myers leads a cast of royal characters in presenting a side of the Tudor king that you've never seen before. I love the characters. I'm embedded with them, I'm invested in them, I identify with them. You've got the Hans Holbein uh, image portraits of Henry, and that's how people saw him. They wanted a fresh, sort of youthful impetuousness to this Henry. We have a young man who uh, inherits power at a very young age, absolute power. Henry is a young man who has an appetite for war. So here's a man who can do anything. He's young, athletic, handsome, healthy. What did he do? That is an exciting premise. You can imagine what it was like 500 years ago. You are a god. I believe these are all just causes for war. I think Henry is like Jonathan, and Jonathan is like Henry as a, a young man. My character is Charles Brandon. He is confidant of the king, and King Henry and Charles grew up together. And so they're very close friends. They yeah, played sport all the time, hunting, jousting. A great camaraderie. She's the king's daughter. 100 crowns you can succeed. Done. <laughs> Charles loves women. He chases them all over the place. He plays quite the Casanova. I mean, he really can't keep his dick in his pants. Uh, uh, there was a lot of naughty behavior. Watch uh, this. It's what it looks like. The grace. But with Margaret, he just went too far. I gave you no permission to marry Brandon. Don't cross the king because a king cannot look a fool. I beg you to forgive your miserable servant. And the Tudors is a completely fresh view of King Henry. He really was this, this man of incredible power and what the image of what a, a king would be. I didn't know much about Princess Margaret, so I read as much as I could about Henry VIII's lineage and who his sisters were. Margaret's fantastic. She was tragic, she's beautiful and confident. The King of Portugal, your future husband, loves and respects you. You must love him in return. There was a lot of selling off women to eradicate problems, which is very telling of the society that we're playing, which I find a little distasteful. Come and you de Deus. <laughs> Jonathan Key's bringing something to Henry VIII that I would never have conceived of myself. I play a guy called Nyvert, Anthony Nyvert. He is one of Henry VIII's friends. There's basically <laughs> four of us, like a brat pack. Henry was a king, he was a celebrity, he liked to have this sort of rat pack uh, around him. He couldn't ask for a better place to be the best friend of the king. There's never a boring day in the kingdom. Wherever they are, that's where the party is. What we were trying to portray, the great times that they have and the riches that they can spend and the women that they can sleep with. His rat pack could occasionally go too far. You have to keep your head above water. You've got to play the game. Will you forgive me? You didn't hurt me. They can't hurt me. No. It was dangerous to go too far with Henry. The Tudors is basically the, the first soap opera. There's lots of treachery going on and backstabbing. No, it's true. The stories are based around the shenanigans of court, and I play one of Henry's shenanigans. I play Anne Boleyn. I think that the whole Anne Boleyn-Henry relationship is fascinating. It's the age-old story of you want what you can't have, and she pushed it to the extreme and really, really worked it. I think it's a story of passion. There's an exotic quality to her. She's quite a fiery young woman and incredibly intelligent. And Henry noticed that. You have to be young to fall in love the way he falls in love with Anne Boleyn. I desire you with all my heart. And she believed in her man and she believed in herself through the most unbelievably trying circumstances. She was a very courageous young woman. He likes this element in Anne Boleyn, but also remember that Henry's fickle. The young man you 
Danny with that hair. Who was he? To work with Johnny. It's easy to pay a woman that becomes infatuated with him because he's got such intensity, he's got such focus, and you can't you get drawn into it. See Jonathan Rhys Myers as Henry VIII and be drawn into the passionate young life of the king you thought you knew. We're getting somebody who's not allowed to have emotions having emotions. It's the story of the monarchy from his perspective. Great looking guy, really sort of sexy bloke and power. I want a divorce and you will get one for me. He's really in your face. He was the ultimate young rocker of Europe. The Tudors.